So here we go, guys. A lot of you guys have been wanting to know how to download shaders for PC. I don't think you can do it for Xbox One or PS4. Here we go. I'm going to be talking. I'm watching Owen's screen right now, and Owen is actually going to talk you guys through how to download shaders, and the shaders I, I use will be in the description below. So he'll literally go the exact shaders I use. Take it away, Owen. All right, so guys, it's actually pretty easy to download shaders because we've already uploaded the shader to Dropbox, so it's a safe download and you won't get any viruses or anything like that. So you all, all you got to do is go to the link in the, in the uh, description, and it will be Dropbox. All you got to do is go to the top right corner and press download, then go press direct download, then just download it right away. It should be in your downloads folder. Okay. Oh, right, so then guys, just open up the shader. You see it right here. Go open up a uh, another file explorer, another window, just as it, and then go find your like your farming simulator like directory wherever it's downloaded. So for me, it would be under uh, program files, then Steam apps, Steam, then Steam apps, and then. After that, you go to common, and then you'll see a bunch of like Steam games and stuff like that. I don't know where it would be if you just had the game downloaded from like Giant's website or something like that. I only have it like from Steam because that's where I have my game. Oh, so directly from Steam. So you do it from Steam. Most of you guys, I'm assuming, download it from Steam. Uh, can you show them again directly from Steam? So like, if you guys bought it from Steam, most likely it's gonna be like this right here. Yeah, most likely if you go from St if you buy it from Steam, you go to your program files, then you just gotta look for Steam. You can always just like search it up like right here in your search bar, and it will come up like the first thing. You wanna click on that. You just click on that, and then after that, Steam apps. It should be near the bottom of the folders, and then at the, at the way way top, you should see common. That's all your common files and stuff like that, and that will have FarmSim in it. And after that, go to FarmSim, and what you'll see here is you'll see a bunch of folders. All you need to look at is x64 and x86. So then, after you get those, after you see those files, all you want to do is copy these five files right here. You don't need the README because that's just like telling you what to do. And then just right-click, copy them. That's all you need to do. Then you need to go into each of these folders. Just click anywhere on the white so it knows like that you're in inside, and then just paste it. And then you want to replace it. If you replace it, that means just like placing the correct files and then adding like the shaders so you can have like the that like cool stuff in your game. And then you got to do this two times because if you don't do it two times, the game will only like kind of half your screen wouldn't show the shader and half will. So you have to do it in both. Um, both folders. So you just did x86 uh, and now you just went to x64, did the exact same thing. And now are you going to go back to x86 and do it again or are you good? So you did it. I usually do it two times because sometimes they all don't um, like they all don't like copy over like correctly okay. and stuff so like it, that. So it won't hurt it if you guys do it too many times and keep pasting it. It'll just keep replacing the same thing which won't hurt your game at all. So make sure you paste in x84 and x64. Maybe do that two times. You should be good, right, Owen? Yeah. And then, actually, before I did anything with mine, with my, uh, with my game, I just backed up. I just backed up my x64 and x86 files. If I ever just wanted to delete the shaders off, all I have to do is you can delete these right here. It won't do anything bad to your game. And then after that, you just go copy these back. These are like original files. And then you just paste them back in your mods folder. And then these are just regular raw farm sim 17, like x64 and 86 files without any shaders installed on them. Okay, perfect. Let's, uh, let's go into farm sim, open her up quick. And then I have one setting that I change on mine. And then otherwise you'll have the exact same thing uh, that I usually do. And so there's a readme and you guys can read the readme. And then eventually it's going to say, um, it's gonna show you guys how to pull up the settings of this and it might take a little longer to load your game too, but you're gonna have settings that should be uh, I don't know where it's gonna where the settings are gonna be, but uh, 
Owen, I'll have Owen pull up the settings. Do you remember what button it was to pull up the settings, Owen? I think it was Shift F2. Are you using mine or are you using yours? I'm, I'm, I took yours that you gave me. Okay, okay. Yep, uh, yeah, see right Shift there. Shift F2. Yep. Okay, so. So, so it, it will bring up a menu. You have to be in the game, I think, for it all to work. But it will bring up a menu, and then it will say, like, like you can turn on, uh, like, like, depth uh like different lighting so let's click go into the save game and then let's try it out yeah and there was one setting that i changed just because mine was all the white text and stuff was like all shiny and stuff like crazy so i just turned one setting off i forgot what it was but if you pull up the same menu i'll be able to see it and then we can turn that off um and i guess that's how i like it it depends how you guys like it too all right so what you got to do is you have to go to make sure you like it might be easier if you guys have like a a non Mac keyboard because it's it's all it's like really hard with a Mac keyboard. So what you want to do is go to left go to the left side of your keyboard, hold left shift and then press F two at the top. Okay, so Owen's in the game right now. Do you guys see Owen pull up like your menu or something? Like hit escape or well hold on, no, hit escape in the game I should say. So like okay, perfect perfect example. You guys see back and quick game and save game reset. It's all like white and glowy. That annoys the crap out of me. One the only setting I change on mine. You couldn't mess with more. But uh, now hit Shift F two to pull up your menu. You just hit Shift F two, and I just turn bloom and lens flares off. I just uncheck it. There you go. And now the white's not all shiny. Now pull up your menu again, and it's not all shiny. That's the only thing I do. And then this is literally the exact same shader that I use. And okay, by the way, I don't know who made the shader, but credit goes to them. If you made the shader, let me know, email me because I want to give you credit, which I, I just found it on a Facebook comment section. So yeah, um, it's a anything great else shader. Um, yeah. no, it's just like it, what the shader does, it just adds so much more depth and realism to the game. Yeah, it looks, it looks pretty realistic. Like I love it so much. Like if I go back guys, Oh man, it's gonna be tough. I, I don't know if I could if I could go back to normal farm sim after having the shader. It's it's amazing. So, yeah. Um, oh yeah, guys. Also, I forgot to say. Remember that if you ever if you just want to have a faster way of getting back your uh, your farm sim seventeen files after you like you're done with the shader and you don't want to use it anymore. You don't like it or whatever that you all you gotta do is you go to find like open up Steam, just right here. I have it bookmarked open up steam go to library wherever your farm sim is downloaded to like library games and then i have it under simulation right click on it go to properties yeah so right click on farming simulator 2017 go to properties go to local files this is what are the files that you have your browse local files backup we want to use go to the bottom verify that everything that's not very like like that's not authentic when you downloaded it will it will be authentic now after you validate all your files but but you have to before you do this you don't have to but to make it actually work you have to delete x64 and x86 files so that the game that the steam says like hey i need you to replace this because even though that files inside are changed the folders are still the same name so i don't think steam will recognize it download it and uh so owen's gonna be running this channel a little bit it'll just be all of the tutorials we can think of and he'll we'll just be making videos together and just posting them for you guys and i'll link them up in my on my main channel but this is a squad tutorial channel if you guys want to learn more and stuff about farming similar tutorials uh and other stuff like that. Subscribe, boys, and uh, I guess we'll see you later.